Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And tonight, I have with me the Preacher of Spice. And will, the question is, will the Preacher of Spice be able to bear the sins of Sinberry Tincture? Will you? We will see. <laughs> so Preacher <laughs> Spice has never tried a tincture before. And I don't know how hot this one is. I've had a lot of tinctures in my days, but I've never had Sinberry tincture. But it sounds a little spooky. So I'm hoping Preacher Spice can help me with this one too. This one is a late for work original. And I've never tried it, but I've smelled it, and it smells interesting, kind of like a almost florally berry-ish. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, you wrote me into a lot of stuff. It happens. It happens. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready for the Sinberry? So if you're ever invited over to Mr. Brad Warden's house for supper... Beware. It's true. <laughs> it's true. You never know what you're going to get around here. It's all right. All right. Hold out your little testy spoon. My little testy spoon. All right. What's a reasonable moment for a newbie, although he is a chili head and shrimp? One, two, three, four. Keep going or five is good? Six. Six. Yeah, let's try six. Call for six. Alright, and me? Well, let's see here. Why does it smell like a dentist office? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> never good. It smells like medicine. <laughs> yeah, I like the smell of dentist office. Hopefully, this can get. Ugh. I don't know. It, maybe. All right, here's a half. Uh, We're not drinking half. a bottle. You're going to have to put another one in there. <laughs> Ready? All right, here we go. I don't know. Do I need to pray first? Maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All right, let's go. What? Oh, there. It tricked me. Another half just to make it a fair and square. <clears throat> That's about half the bottle, too, on these small ones. That is nasty. I mean, that is hot. <sighs> wow, it's a real interesting flavor. Hmm. It is almost kind of like berry ish and almost like florally. I don't know. It tastes kind of like it smells. Uh oh. Preacher Spice, are you surviving the sins of Sinberry? I don't know, but it is hot. Whew. My ears are burning already. It sticks with you, too. My throat. <sighs> is it a tongue burner or a throat burner? Both. Ooh, that's a good question. <clears throat> I've said it's about a 50 50 <clears throat> between the tongue it's and both. the throat. Yeah. It's not quite as hot as quite a few that I've had. Oh, man. Um, Mount Doom's definitely worse. Green Sickle's got a worse tongue burn, but not as bad as the throat burn. This has got a bad throat burn. I would say probably <coughs> the throat burn on this is a little bit worse <coughs> than the tongue. But it's close to like a half and half. <sighs> but this one is pretty, pretty hot. The average person takes you through a ton. A chili head, what does it put you at? Me, I'm, like I said, I haven't had anything hot for a long time, for a while. I'm at probably a good 10. I'm at probably 10. Wow. <sighs> a 10 is unbearable heat. <sighs> sure it's that high? Well, I mean, I'm dealing with it, but probably a good 8. All right. I'd say probably... For a full-fledged chili head, 
Um, two to three. Oof. I was about full hurrah were because I had two a little bit higher than half. Uh, well, steam coming out of my ears. And then the thing about these tinctures too, especially the last super hot ones I've had, like the HE double hockey stick, hammer one, and the um the Mount Doom one, it sticks with you a long time. It's like you're sitting here about 15 minutes, still kind of hanging with you. And after about that, it goes down. So these hang with you, some of them, quite some time. I also got the ringing one on. Plenty hot. Solid burn. So. That was only this six drops, right? Sinberry. Six. six drops? Yeah. Whew. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. No. Whew. No. So late for works, tinctures, most of them I've tried <sighs> are pretty hot. Pretty hot. Late for work makes them pretty hot. Oh, I want to say something too. Um, got a package in the mail today too from Miller Time Family Foods and Gardening. And he sent me a lot of all my stuff too some peppers, four tinctures, and some other candy, um, which I'm excited to try too. So he said, he said, my crew, the camera person and kitties, must try one of those tinctures and he recommended one. I'm not going to say what it is, but you, camera person, yes, I'm looking at you. You are on the clock. I'll do it. And after having green sickle, I think I could probably do his. Could be. Are you surviving Creature Spice? Did you survive the sins of the Sin Bear? Well, I survived. Barely. It's coming down. Yeah, it's coming down now. Wow. That had a good bite in the throat yet. I would say oh. mouth is about cleared up in the throat and burning down. The back of my tongue right now. Back of my tongue. A little bit. Burns. A little bit. But right up in here. Ears are getting better. Got some ringing yet in my ears, but in preachers spice, this is how you train for super hot challenges. So if you want to train for some of the crazy ones that you've just recently purchased, I can let you borrow some of my tincture. Oh, maybe I won't be doing those. <sighs> just train your tolerance. Let's see. Train my tolerance. <laughs> I'm an old man. I might have a heart attack. <laughs> Come on, old girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my that just killed me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We survived the sins of Sinberry. Thanks really for, for making this tincture. Oh, and happy birthday. Oh. oh. And yesterday was Preacher of Spice's birthday. So which Preacher of Spice a happy birthday, either on here on my channel or his channel. Preacher of Spice has his own channel too. He hasn't been active in a while, but you can check it out there. Over at just Preacher of Spice in the search and you'll be able to find his channel too. Did you enjoy your birthday present? This was a great birthday present. Thank Want you. Want a little bit more for the road? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that answered my question. <laughs> Dude, we want him to survive till his next birthday. <laughs> All right. We will see you next time here on the Mr. Brad Warden Show. Have a blessed day.